Have you seen advertisements for Masterclass? It's a video lecture service that you can purchase and have famous folks teach you how to do this and that. And it got me thinking, if you could have one Masterclass lecture series on anything from anyone in history, what and who would it be? Okay, so I have to begin by distinguishing two different kinds of subjects, right? Because there's the, there's the kind of subject that is obviously more important, um, theology. Theology is the queen of the sciences. Mm -hmm. But if, you've, if you're at all indebted to a master theologian, like I am to Calvin, let's say, when Calvin does theology, he's teaching you in the theology. You, you know, he's teaching you what he's doing, right? Uh, so I'm learning how to think like he thought as I'm following his mm -hmm. thoughts, which is very different than sitting down at a meal prepared by a world famous cook, where you enjoy the meal and have no idea mm -hmm. uh, how they did, how they <clears throat> right. did that. So, um, so I'm preparing you for the answer to my question, which is going to seem not very serious. <laughs> but uh, I would say I'd want to take a master class on writing from someone like P.G. Woodhouse. Okay, okay. Um, not because I think writing light comedy is the most sure. impressive thing in the world, but if I read a historian, or if I read a theologian, or if I read a philosopher, I can see what they're doing. How he did it is self-evident. How, how he did it is, you know, there's mm -hmm. the footnotes, and here's where I learned that, and this is where right. you should go if you want to learn it too. Uh -huh. um, so I basically, there are certain disciplines where the master class is the product, mm -hmm. right? Um, but P.G. Woodhouse achieves this effect, yeah. and you say, how did he do, you know? How right. did you do that? And, and I'm uh, currently reading a book by Wood, it's called Performing Flea. There's Overlook Press is releasing all of Woodhouse's titles. Um, and one of them is called Performing Flea, and it's not one of his novels. It's a series of letters between him and a writer friend. He had a close friend who was a writer who, who saved all his letters. Mm -hmm. And it's, the letters span decades, over decades, and they're two writers. So a lot of the letters have to do with how, how you do a rough draft of a book or, oh, or how, you know, yeah. it's, it's, a, it's a writing class from P.G. Woodhouse. Mm -hmm. And I've really, I'm really enjoying it. He's, he's as funny in his letters as he is in, in his novels. And I would love to have a, a master class on writing by mm -hmm. a master like, like Woodhouse. That, that makes sense, although I was going to guess something by Stevie Ray Vaughan. Was the <laughs> well, that's another kind of yeah. <laughs> Might have been the top five, is yeah. my guess. <laughs> yeah, uh, that kind of thing occurred to me. <laughs> <laughs> Got it. But you went for the more noble option. I, yes, yeah. I went for a more literary. Okay. <laughs> yeah. All right.